Okay, so here's another one. Um, people look for inspiration, as I, as I mentioned in a uh, past video. Um, and they ask me, how do I find inspiration? And, you know, I already, I already said you have to constantly do that. But one thing that, is, uh, that I found to be very true is that silence is the birthplace of all inspiration. I believe silence, just pure silence, is the birthplace of any type of inspiration, of any intelligent idea. I'm not talking about clever ideas of, uh, you know, oh, that looks really cool. No, like true, true intelligence comes from no thought. And I know it sounds uh, counterintuitive, but this is what I found to be true. And I just, I'd like to share this with you. Anytime you don't know what to do, you're in front of a canvas, a sculpture, whatever it is that you do. This, is, this doesn't just apply to artists, this applies to everything. We're all humans and we're all doing and, and to better ourselves or whatever it is that you know, craft or work we do. Uh, anytime you find yourself not knowing or you're not, you, you hit a wall or whatever, stop. Stop, go sit down and, and just breathe, go do a little walk. Just completely let it go because what has happened it's it's been my experience that what has happened there is that you've consumed yourself with so much thought so much process so much what they call analysis by paralysis I heard uh, I heard uh, uh, Mark Cuban the guy comes out in Shark Tank the guy, the guy that owns the map um, he said one time Perfection is the enemy of profitability, and I believe that is you know, he hit the nail on the head. You know, any time that you are saturated, it's because you're looking for perfection. Just like Salvador Dali said, "Don't worry about perfection; you're never going to achieve it." And it's true; you never achieve it because there's always something higher. There's always something higher. It's always something better. So you don't want to aim for perfection. What you want to aim at is for truth, and I believe that truth comes out of a quiet space. And I'm not talking about turn off the lights, put some incense on, <laughs> or sit there and pray. I, if, if that's what you do, that's fine, whatever. But I'm talking about quieting the mind. It's the mind that needs to, that needs to rest. And one of the best ways that I found, it's either do nothing, completely do nothing, just sit there and like... Uh, I remember seeing this movie too. Eat a piece of pie. <laughs> or do something else that has nothing to do with what you were doing. Or I've also found that just fully engaging in what else in whatever you're doing. Let's say that you hit a wall, then that hits so hard that your thoughts just drop. Because a lot of times what happens is that you think you're working a lot. Let's say you're you're making a painting, you know, and then you're 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 doing your thing, you're, you're throwing the brush strokes and everything. And, and then you get overwhelmed because you're thinking about it. And you can't think and do. You either do or you don't do, but you can't think and do. I know it sounds like a Yoda thing, but, but it's true. You either, you, you either do or you don't do, but you can't do both. You can't think and do at the same time. So what happens is, is that you're, you're working, you're painting, and then you're thinking, oh, what, what color should go there? Oh, or this line should go here, that, or that, you know, whatever, that composition. Oh, my composition is to be like this and like that. When you're doing that, it is my belief that you're not painting, that you're, you're already paralyzing. You're, 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 you're creating so much analytical thinking that you are no longer painting. Now you're, the thinker is engaged, and the thinker does not create art. The think helps you organize. You know, the thinker in you helps you organize, but it does not create art. What creates art is the non-think, the, the I don't want to get into airy fairy stuff, uh, but there's a part of you that doesn't think. It's the, the same things that it's, it's the same part of you that that creates blow, uh, um, blood uh, go through your veins and your heart palpitates without you uh, thinking about it. I mean, if that if they would leave that job to us, we would die in a second, no or less. But it's because it's because that intelligence makes it happen. So that intelligence is the one that's creating the artwork. So when you find yourself, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, blah, blah, just sit there, do nothing, go walk, do something else, drop it. Or you might find it very helpful 
fully engage in it. Because what happens is that you think you're fully engaging, but you're not. This one is fully engaging, while this one's feel very heavy. You know, you're like, ah, you're struggling, but they're not really engaging. So I, I found both things to be really, uh, I hope I didn't confuse you, but both things to be really helpful. Either do nothing or just go all at it. Uh, that's it for today. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist, and thank you for watching.